Welcome back, troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. For Fender Friday this week, we're going to take a look at this interesting Telecaster. Prior to today, I had never actually seen one of these things before, but I thought it's a little bit goofy. It's got some quirky features to it, but most of all, I dig that bright yellow finish. So what is this? This is a Fender Custom Shop Flathead Telecaster. And it says it right there on the headstock, but why is it called a flathead, you ask? Honestly, I'm not sure. There's not a lot of info out there about these guitars, but I'm guessing it is a car reference to a flathead engine. Because on the 12th fret inlay, you've got a crossed piston with the F Fender logo. I'm not much of a car guy, so I'll let you guys talk about that in the comments section. But let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about the series. Starting on the face of the guitar, it does not have a pick guard at all. That's why this looks really strange. On top of that, it just doesn't have the normal tele configuration. You now have two EMG humbuckers in here, an 81 in the neck and a 60 in a bridge. But on top of that, it doesn't have that straight up and down Telecaster route either. It's just a master volume right there. And then a three-way toggle switch, Les Paul style. So once you start to wrap your mind around that, it's an alder body with a satin finish. So it's not going to be glossy, it's not going to be shiny or anything, it's going to be a really flat feeling finish. And that's on top of an alder body. Now when we switch over to the back, you're going to see some modern comfort features here. You have a belly carve, kind of like a Stratocaster, and the neck heel is contoured. So it'll be a little bit more comfortable to play in the higher registers. Other than that, since it's now back mounted instead of front routed, you have a back access control plate. And this one right here is for your nine volt battery to supply your active EMGs. It is still a string through design though. Now these actually came in a few different finishes like this one, as well as black. And then there's these really cool armor plated ones. I think if I was going to buy one of these for a full review and demo, it would probably have to be that because I think it ties in the whole engine thing pretty well. Moving on here, we have a maple neck with an ebony fretboard. And again, we had already talked about the inlays. And you've got Schaller locking tuners. So essentially the vibes I'm getting from this is if you're like a metal guy and you want a super comfortable guitar. Because not only can you get all the higher up fret access, but this Telecaster has a little bit more comfort features to it. And it's a pretty simple layout. But just as a fun fact, Jim Root of Slipknot has actually been seen playing these guitars, and it's said that that's what he based his signature Fenders off of. So here's one of his Squire Jim Root Telecasters, and you can see this is a very similar guitar. It's got pickups that resemble EMGs. I opted for a pickguard on this example, but it's got just that single volume knob. It's got a similar style bridge. He opted for like a Stratocaster style switch instead of a three-way toggle. But even when you look at the back, it's got the same belly carve. It's got the same heel carve, very similar. Then if you move up to his traditional Fender one, you can see the specs are very similar here. This version even has the locking tuners. So I just thought it was kind of cool how this model inspired another signature model. But within the Flathead series, there's actually a Stratocaster version called the Showmaster. Now, those are a little bit different, and I don't want to talk about those too much because that'll probably be a future episode but those things are really interesting. And in the early 2000s, Mattel actually commissioned a batch of 16 of those in a Hot Wheels getup, and that just happens to work with the pistons on the fretboard. Except for notice, this one only gets a bridge pickup and it doesn't appear to be active. So for today's playing demo, let's go ahead and hear how one of these flathead tellies sound. <laughs> question left, would you rock a flathead Telecaster or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.